My wife and I are making the drive from Pearland back to Houston for the second part of our road trip. What a great time for barbecue. In Texas, we love our football and we love our barbecue. They may not have been invented here, but we damn well think we do both better than anybody else. After a great lunch in Pearland, my wife and I had some time to kill, so we headed to Herman Park. We spent some time at the Houston Museum of Natural Science, they have a really neat butterfly enclosure, and explored the Rose Gardens where we got married low those many years ago. Then it was time for dinner, and that meant more barbecue. We headed to the Heights, Pinkerton's Texas Pit Barbecue is located in a big white building at 1504 Airline Drive. The restaurant's on the first floor, while owner and head pitmaster Grant Pinkerton lives on the second floor above. Parking was a bit tight, but I wedged the minivan into a spot. As you walk in the front door, there's a bar to the left and the dining room to the right. We got in line, got our food, and found a table. The brisket I ordered was really good. Just a single, thick slice, but it was super tender and had a rich, smoky flavor. They served two kinds of pork ribs, glazed and unglazed. I couldn't decide, so I got some of both. Big and meaty, tender and smoky, both styles of ribs tasted great. Pinkerton's also served blueberry cobbler. I love a good cobbler, and made from fresh blueberries, oh yeah. My wife got their two meat plate, with lean brisket and pulled pork, with a side of beans. The bites I snuck from her order tasted great, and she raved about their beans. There was no sauce on the table, and we didn't see any when we were in line. Pinkerton's might have some, but the meat sure never needed it, and we didn't miss it a bit. After I ate, I walked around to the smoking shed. There I met Curtis, one of their pit masters. A friendly young man, he showed me their pits and explained their cooking method. Briskets start out being cooked over mesquite wood. After about 12 hours, they're wrapped in butcher paper and cooked over oak at a higher temperature. A slightly different smoking technique than most other barbecue joints, but you sure can't argue with the results they get. Pinkerton's Barbecue made the Texas Monthly Top 50 list in 2017. It's easy to see why. Mouthwatering barbecue, super friendly people. That's a winning combination that'll keep Pinkertons on that list for years to come. This barbecue is outstanding and rates two hookums. That's it for this episode of Texas Passions. Your feedback is very important to me. Any thoughts or questions you might have about this episode or my other videos, Leave something in the comment section and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. I'm always looking for new barbecue places to try. Maybe you've got a suggestion of a favorite place I should go to. Suggestions are always appreciated. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on my logo when it pops up and go from there. You can view previous episodes of Texas Passions by clicking on the links displayed. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.